In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the area of a rectangle. So let's say we have an 8 by 5 rectangle. Let's say this is 8 feet and this is 5 feet. What is the area of this rectangle? The area is the length times the width. The length is 8 and the width is 5. So the area is going to be 8 times 5. Now, 8 times 5 is 40, so the area is going to be 40 square feet. And that's the answer in this example. So it's very easy to calculate the area of a rectangle. Now, what if you have a figure that looks like this? Let's say this side is 6. This is 5 units long. This side is 13, and this side is 15. Using what you know, calculate the area of this composite figure. So feel free to pause the video and try it. Now what we need to do is break this area, break this uh, figure rather, into two rectangles. So I'm going to draw a line. So what is the area of this rectangle? Well, it's going to be the left times the width. So 5 times 13 is 65. Now what's the area of this rectangle? Notice that this side is 15 and this side is 5. So this side has to be the difference between 15 and 5. So 15 minus 5 is 10, so this side is 10 units long. So this rectangle has a length of 10 and a width of 6. 10 times 6 is 60. So the total area of the composite figure is 60 plus 65. So we have 125 square units. So that's how you can calculate the area of a composite figure using rectangles. Here's another example that we can work on. So let's say this side is 3, this is 4, this is 10, and then 6, and this is 11. And let's say this is 5, and this is also 6. So go ahead and take a minute and calculate the area of this figure. So how can we do this? What's the best way to begin? What I recommend doing is breaking it into three rectangles. So to calculate this one, it's going to be the length times the width, 3 times 10, so that's 30. And then for this one, it's going to be 4 times 11. So 4 times 11, that's 44. Now what about this rectangle? It has a length of 6, but what's the what's the width? We could say it's the difference between 10 and 5, which is 6. Or the difference between 11 and 6, which is... That's 5. Wait, this is supposed to be 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. I don't know why I put 6 for some reason. And 11 minus 6 is 5. So this is definitely 5. So if we multiply 5 times 6, that will give us 30. And so this is the area of that rectangle. So now we need to add up these three values. So 44 plus 30 plus another 30. So this is going to be 104. That's the total area of the figure. Let's work on another example. Now let's say that this side is 15, this is 4, this is 6, and that's 20. Now 
go ahead and calculate the area of this figure. If you want to, feel free to pause the video. Now let's say that this figure is symmetrical. So that means that if this side is 15, the other side is also 15. And if this is 4, that's 4 as well. And if that's 6, then this side must also be 6. Now what about the length of this side? How long is it? So notice that this side is 20, and this is 4, and that's 4. So it's the difference between 20 and 8. So 20 minus 8 is 12. So therefore, this side is 12 units long. And what about the length of this segment? That's going to be the difference between 15, 6, and 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. 15 minus 12 is 3. So this part is 3 units long. So now we can calculate the area of this composite figure. So let's turn this into a rectangle. What's the area of the rectangle? So it's going to be length times width 15 times 4, which is 60. And that means that this part is also 60 as well. Now to calculate the area of this rectangle, it's going to be 12 times 3, which is 36. And so we got to add 60 plus 60 plus 36. 60 plus 60 is 120. 120 plus 36 is 156. So that's the area of the composite figure. Now let's move on to the next problem. So let's say if we have a rectangle inside of another rectangle. And let's say the dimensions of the large rectangle, let's say it has a width of 18 and a length of 25. And let's say the dimensions of the small rectangle, let's say it's 6 by 12. What is the area of the shaded region? Go ahead and try that. In order to calculate the area of the shaded region, we need to calculate the area of the large rectangle and subtract it by the area of the small rectangle. So the dimensions of the large rectangle is 18 by 25. So length times width, 25 times 18, will give us the area of the large rectangle. Now to calculate the area of the small rectangle, we can multiply the length and the width. So the length is 12, the width is 6. So the area of the large rectangle is 25 times 18, which is 450 square units. And the area of the small rectangle is 12 times 6, which is 72. So 450 minus 72, that's 378 square units. And that's how you can calculate the area of the shaded region. It's the difference between the area of the large object minus the area of the small object. Now let's try a word problem. The perimeter of a rectangle is 54. If the length is 6 more than twice the width, what is the area of the rectangle? So let's draw a picture. So this is the length, this is the width. The perimeter is the sum of all four sides. It's 2L plus 2W. So we're told that the perimeter is 54. So we have this equation. Now to simplify it, I'm going to divide everything by 2. Half of 54 is 27. And then 2L divided by 2 is L. 2W divided by 2 is W. So we have this equation. L plus W is 27. Now we have two missing variables, L and W. So we need two equations to find L and W. Now we're told that the length is 6 more than twice the width. So 6 more, that's 6 plus twice the width. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace L with 6 plus 2W. I'm going to solve by substitution. So 27 is 6 plus 2W plus another W. 
Now we can combine like terms. 2w plus w is 3w. And now let's subtract 6 from both sides. Twenty seven minus six is twenty one, and that's equal to three W. So if we divide both sides by three, we can see that W is twenty seven divided by three, which is seven. So if W is seven, what's the length? So now we can go back to this equation. L is equal to six plus two W. So that's six plus two times seven. Two times seven is fourteen. And 6 plus 14 is 20. So the length is equal to 20. So now we can calculate the area. It's going to be the length times the width of the rectangle. Now if 7 times 2 is 14, 7 times 20 is 140. And so that's the area of this particular rectangle.